hello this time i am going to deal with the another vector which is important in the sense that it can clone a dna of more site as compared to plasmid so our topic is cosmid the name itself denotes that it has got the two parts one the cause and another one the mid so this name plasmid mid and then lambda phase which bear the cos sites so this is the cos so basically it is a chimeric vector where the two type of the dna are attached together to behave like vector so basically it is a lambda phase based cloning vector and this vectors has got the more capacity to carry the dna of side about 40 or 45 kilo base let us just study what are the common features it has as i told you it is a chimeric cloning vector why because it consists of segments from a bacterial plasmid and bacteriophage which is having the cos sites and this plasmid has been created in the lab and it was named like plfr56 kbp jb8 so depending on this nomenclature is done according to the name of the uh, developer and also the uh, sequence by which the sequence of the uh, creation so from the bacteria it has added the origin of replications from the plasmid and from the virus or the lambda phase it has added the cause enzyme because you know that a bacterial phase it has a unique features that it has got the cost sites so this is the cost of 12 base pairs this is also cost of 12 base pairs and these are complementary so that when these are inserted into the bacteria then by virtue of these with two very sites they just make circular and remains like a plasmid the two cost sites are separated by sc1 these two cos sites of a plasmid they are separated by sc1 so here suppose that this is the cos regions it is the cos region then here the sc1 site will be there and this sc1 site is very essential because it makes this plasmid linear it makes the plasmid linear in order to insert the dna so and uh, beside this it has got the multiple cloning sites just like for hint 3 pst1 bam h1 isma1 and eco r1 so whatever the enzymes is available in your lab you can use those um, uh, restriction enzymes in addition to this it has got the antibiotic dominant marker for the selection of the transformants Another important feature is that um, this plasmid, unlike lambda phase, it has no lysis or lysogenic reason. So it will remain as plasmid, it will replicate, but it will not form the bacteria to get lysis. Or they can also uh, cannot integrate its genomes uh, by means of the recombination. And, uh, in this the p1 bacterial phase is 115 kilo base and thus can carry 85 kilo base insert here we are using the another bacterial phase which has got the maximum 52 kilo base genomes 
where we can insert the 50 uh, 45 kilo base of the dna so uh, this bacteriophage lambda phase uh, of uh, also uh, available in the nature of different sizes when the uh, lambda phase dna size will be more then there will be 85 kilo base when there will be the less then it will be the 45 and uh, uh, recombining the two regions bacterial plasmid as well as the lambda phase uh, dna then the size can be increased according to the need so here you can see the genetic map this is the structure of the pbg pzb8 uh, where the origin of replication is here remain for the cloning purpose with essentials and persilin resistant genes which is very essential for the screening purpose then multiple cloning sites essential for the insertion of the dna and the cross regions which is responsible for making the linear DNA circular. So here the isma one is present. So the, when you will treat this plasmid or you will treat this cosmid by means of the SMA one, then this will get linear and here the cross site will be there. Here the cross site with some of the regions of the SME one, SME one like that. So this is the real structure of the uh, cosmid which has got the both the regions from the plasmid as well as from the lambda phase. So one uh, question always comes in the mind. What is the some differences between the lambda vector as well as in the cosmid vector? You can say this lambda vector and the cosmid vector. Lambda vector is also genetically engineered uh, and this is also the this uh, cosmid is also genetically engineered. But uh, differences is that it contains only the viral DNA, while this cosmid it contains the both plasmid as well as the lambda phase DNA. So it is hybrid or it is chimeric. <coughs> Here the carrying capacity is less, less than uh, less than twelve to twenty kilo base. But here the mm, carrying capacity is more than this one are uh, forced the 45 kilo base it requires a screening of large number of recombinants but here the less number of recombinants are required for screening purpose another important thing is that here the plaques are formed because when this uh, col when this colony or when this bacteria when this bacteria uh, get uh, uh, infected with the lambda fast dna so by virtue of this lytic pathway, this lytic pathway, this will allow the bacteria to lyse. So whatever the colony will form from the bacteria, these all will be the lyse. So lyse bacteria will appear on the media as plaques. Lytic bacteria will appear as plaques on the, but the non-lytic bacteria, or you can say the uh, those lysogenic bacteria, or uh, the bacteria which doesn't have any uh, uh, lytic or the lysogenic pathway, they will appear as colony. So here the plaques are screened and here the colonies are screened. And definitely it requires some more steps to generate them. Now, what is the process of cl cloning? Our first step is, uh, first step is to get the DNA of size 40 kilo base. If it is having the large DNA, so how to get the 40 kilo base of the DNA? So by which you can just you have to treat it with the restriction enzymes. So suppose that this is a uh, genomic DNA, genomic DNA where one BAM is present here, another BAM is present here, another present here, another presence here. Okay. So when it will cut then definitely it will having the small size so this size you can get like that depending upon the region where the bam is present so suppose that this is a 40 kilo base this is of course this is of like 200 kilo base this is a 100 kilo base and this is of 20 kilo base our need is 40 kilo base how to separate it so this separations or this isolation can be done by one technique that is called as sucrose 
सुक्रोज रेडियंट सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन टेक्निक तो दिस इज ए टेक्निक बाई विच यू कैन जस्ट सेपरेट फोर्टी किलो बेस ऑफ द डी एन ए फ्रॉम द मिक्सचर ऑफ द जीरोमिक फ्रैगमेंट सो हाउ यू कैन डू दिस वन देन सुक्रोज डेंसिटी ग्रेडियंट टेक्निक सुक्रोज डेंसिटी ग्रेडियंट सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन टेक्निक इज द टेक्निक ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन वेर द डी एन ए इज सेपरेटेड इन द ग्रेडियंट कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ सुक्रोज एंड फॉर दैट वेरी पर्पज वी हैव टू यूज टू टू टाइप ऑफ सुक्रोज सोल्यूशन वन सोल्यूशन दैट वैरिज फ्रॉम फाइव टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड अदर सोल्यूशन दैट वैरिज फ्रॉम टेन टू फोर्टी परसेंट तो दिस हैज गॉट द हाई डेंसिटी एंड दिस हैज गॉट द लेस डेंसिटी एंड वेन दिस टू आर मिक्स वेन दिस टू आर मिक्स देन ए ग्रेडियंट ऑफ द ग्रेडियंट ऑफ द सेंटिफिक ग्रेडियंट ऑफ सुक्रोज सोल्यूशन विल फॉर्म so let us just uh, um, see in some pictures so this is a chest chambers where the this two um, uh, you can say that uh, uh, funnel or the cavity uh, which is connected with a common tube so in one that is the in the a in the a uh, we have added the concentration from 5 to 10 like that 5 to 10 like that here we have added like a uh, 20 to 20 to 40 okay 20 40 two times either you just add 20 then you take the 5 if you take the 40 then you take the 10 okay so that is the 1 to 4 ratio okay so here the 20% uh, sucrose solutions are there and here 5% and when by uh, um, this you can say the rotations if you allow to fall into the this very tube then what will happen uh, due to mixing of these very solutions if uh, if some uh, if, if it if because it will flow fast it will flow fast then it will form the 20% gradient but uh, um but after some time this solution will also add into this one then the density will be somewhat less again after more time after more time because this will fall fast this will fall slow so when this fast will slow this will come to the upper and this will be the least gradient so here least gradient here it will be the most gradient and after that the mixtures the mixture which you have generated after the dam treatment of the genomic dna that dna mixture is loaded at the upper end and after that it is allowed for the centrifugation at the 35000 rpm for 3 hours then what will happen the according to the density the mixture will be separated for example if this mixture contain the bacteriophage 529 bacteriophage lambda bacteriophage t2 bacteriophage three type of the dna are there then according to the size because this is less size this is uh, somewhat more and this is this is the heaviest one this is the heaviest one okay uh, no Uh, this is not because this is a 10 to power 8 this is the heaviest this is the lightest and this is the middle one so when this will form then what you will do you just pay uh, make a uh, hole hole here to allow this dna to get into the tube so when the, you will uh, from this hole the dna will pass and you can collect this band after that you can collect this band after that you can collect this band so this dna will be collected in three different sample the first sample will belong to the t2 dna second sample belong to lambda fast third will belongs to 529 dna so this is the uh, way by which you can isolate the uh, dna of your size after that the cloning process will be done after that the cloning process how to proceed for the cloning process so this uh, our task is over this task is over okay we have selected the 40 kilo base of the dna now our next step is to cut this dna that is the cosmic vectors by means sc1 this is the enzyme cell which <coughs> we separate the two cross sites so uh, what will happen this cross circular cosmic it will become linear so these are some of the sc1 regions some partial sc1 
this is the parcel when will they will uh, join together then it will have the complete sc1 region so, so after that you treat it with the bam h1 bam h1 here and this will allow the uh, creation of the gap into which you can ligate the 40 kilobits of dna with the help of t4 dna ligase so uh, this is the, uh, the, the this was 10 kilobase 10 10 kilobase but here the site will increase site has increased to 50 kilobase because um, we cannot exceed more than 50 maximum 52 one is this type of the dna can be packed into this one but 10 kilobase but 10 kilobase dna cannot be packed and when you add this 40 kilobase then 40 plus 10 it has become 52 and it is now ready to be packed so uh, you just uh, go for the in vitro packaging in in vitro packaging will create a la that lam lambda phase with the cosmic vectors inside it but these are not uh, um, these are not circular it is linear okay just like the lambda phase dna it is linear because there is no any such enzymes which can make the two cos ends adhere together to form the circular DNA. It is available in the bacteria. Okay. It is available in the bacteria. So then what you will do? This in this lambda fast DNA with the, having the linear cosmid, they are introduced into the bacteria where the with the help of the ligase enzyme, the two cos sites they come together and it form the circular DNA to become like a plasmid. So how you can do in vitro packaging? In the earlier lecture, I also told you about uh, ki how we can perform the vitro packaging. So for that purpose, you just take the two strains of the lambda phase. One strain, it has having the BHB2688 uh, and strain BHB2690. This is the lambda phase DNA. Okay. Because lambda phase DNA they have got the uh, the natural one or the wild type it has got the e plus gene wild type of the e plus gene and the d plus genes eh? and so that it can form the minor as well as the major capsid protein for the packaging purpose but here the mutation is there mutant state is there one is having the d plus another having the e minus eh? another having the e plus and the d minus eh? so these are the mutant for the major protein these are mutant for the minor protein so there will be no any packaging at all but protein will be synthesized in that e coli when this e coli uh, is infected with such type of the strains the major proteins will formed and if it is infected with this strains then minor protein will form so this is the major protein and this is the minor protein okay so this major and the minor they are isolated and they are mixed together they are mixed together to form the infective phase by okay so uh, here uh, I, uh, th this is the dna to be a uh, uh, this is the dna to be packed and here it is the dna to be uh, packed so here you can get the major protein you can have the minor protein so let's just uh, take uh, here uh, one uh, some one glassware's you can or append off like that you add the major protein okay the okay, major protein is there you add the minor protein you add the tail fibers the tail fiber protein tp it is the um mi protein is the ma protein and plus this dna this dna so due to presence of all these ingredient there will be the pack packaging of the lambda fast dna and when this dna will be in this dna fast dna phase dna will be introduced into the bacteria by transduction process then the ligase enzyme the bacteria will bring the two cross sites together and it forms a circular so it will just behave like a plasmid but since it has got the plasmid as well as the lambda fast so you cannot say a uh, plasmid rather you can say cosmid which behaves like plasmid because it has having the OIC, it will auto replicate. So after this, the, this bacteria, then these are the plasmid. So when it will divide, when it will divide, then this is the genomic DNA, this is the, this is the 
then plasmid, then plasmid. Fit further, it will divide, it will generate the, the copy of the mole plasmid. Okay, so then after that, what you can do? You just uh, again digest it with the which enzymes that the BAM H1. Then BAM H1 will release your these sequences, release your these sequences, and these sequences can be analyzed further. So how you can screen? The screening is done by the uh, enzymes that is called the tetracycline. Okay. So some antibiotic is you can say the tetracycline, uh, tetracycline resistant genes are here. Tetracycline resistant genes are here and the DNA has been inserted. When a bacteria, when a bacteria, they get uh, introduced, they get uh, introduced this very genes, when this very genes bearing plasmid enters, then it is called transformed. When it will not enter, it is called a non-transformed. So here it will be no any tet R genes. It means that no plasmid, it means that it is tet S. No plasmid, it means it is tet S. This is tet S and this is tet R. So in the um, media plate, when you will add tetracycline, so this non-transformed will not grow while the transformed it will grow so whatever the colonies grow that belongs to the transformants so you isolate this cosmid you isolate this cosmid okay cosmid where many copies of cosmids are there you treat it with the bam you get excised this dna and you keep it for the further analysis so this is for the cloning purpose so what is the advantage it has got the more cloning capacity so large uh, so uh, so gene clusters or large gene can be easy to clone for example uh, suppose that you, you, you have to clone uh, 100 kb of dna so how many uh, plasmid vectors you can need how many cosmic vectors you can need uh, how many copies of the cosmic vectors you require one cosmid one plasmid it is, it is having the cloning capacity of maximum 1 to 5 kb. So if 5 kb will be there, then 5, you just divide it, you will get 20. So you can need 20, uh, 20 cloning vectors for uh, cloning the 100 kb of the DNA. 20, 20, 20 like that. But you are having the cosmic vector where the cloning capacity is 40. So here it will be like 40. Okay. Now here it is 2. Here it is 5 or you can say 2.5. So 3 kb. 3, three uh, cosmic vectors you can need. So 3 kb. One will 40. Another will 40. And third will be 20. So total it is become 100. And if you take the plasmid. Then one will be having. One will be having 5. Second will be having 5. Third will be having 5. Fourth will be having 5. Fifth will be having 5. 5, 5, 10, 10, 5, 15, 15, 5, 20, 20, 25, 20, 25. And for 25, if we, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 qualities. So for 100, we can need 20 cloning vectors. So um, uh, this is just an advantage over that one. And of course, it has got the small screen process, less uh, cloning process. So these are some of the advantages over the plasma vector. Thank you for watchings we can have the session for the uh, questions so you can just have if you have any questions